to believe that all the prophets or messengers were humans or humans Allah says in surah kahf verse 110 and surah fussilat verse number 6 qul innama ana bashurum mithlukum innama yuha ilayya innama ilahukum ilahu wahid qul you say you announce that there is absolutely no doubt that i am a human like you the only difference is what that i have I have been revealed that I have been sent a revolution that there is no God but Allah. So what does this mean and what does this imply? That all the prophets were physically, emotionally, socially, psychologically very, very much humans. Like the body structure. Physically, all the body structure, the skin, the muscles, the joints, the bones, the organs were like human beings. Then, because of this, all their physical needs were like, very much like human beings. They would get tired. They would need sleep and rest. They would, they would feel hunger and thirst and so would need to drink and eat. They would... They would suffer from fever. They would experience pain. They would be injured. Their bodies would ache. They would cry. So all this was human. Emotionally, there were times they were happy. There were times they were sad. There were times they were anxious. There were times when they were upset. There were times they were crying. There were times when they were laughing. So emotionally, they were humans. And socially also, they were humans. They had social needs, needs of human relationships. So they, they needed and then they were provided with parents, with siblings, with spouse, with children, with daughters, with sons. So I sum up again that all the prophets or the messengers of Allah were physically, emotionally, socially, psychologically, they were very much human. But the only, the only and the biggest and the only difference was that they were chosen by Allah for prophethood and hence they were they were given revelations and this is what make them different as compared to the rest of the bondsmen and this is what made them superior to the normal bondsmen so this is the second concept we need to accept and to believe when we believe in the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now why must we believe the prophets to be humans? The first thing will be that once the prophets are considered as humans, then this will prevent the followers to consider them as an ilah. To raise them to the ranks of Allah. This will be prevented. Polytheism, polytheism of the of the prophets, finding the prophets as partners with Allah in his being, making them his sons, or making them as a part of Allah, this will be prevented if we consider them as human beings. Like like the Jews and the Christians saying, وَقَالَتِ الْيَحُودُ وَزَيْرِ بْنُ اللَّهِ وَقَالَتِ النَّسَارَ عِيسَى بْنُ اللَّهِ This was because they raised the level and the rank of their prophets above a human being. And then they raised the level of their prophets to the, to the rank of Allah. The second thing why it is important is that when they are considered as human beings, another positive effect will be that we know that all prophets, they acted completely and totally according to the commandments of Allah. And they, they obeyed all the do's and don'ts of Allah. And so they were the human models of the teachings of Allah. Now, if they were considered humans, what would happen? That thinking that they were humans, if they could do that, anybody could do that. And all the commandments of Allah and do's and don'ts of Allah are very, very much humanly possible to be accepted and obeyed upon. But if on the contrary, they are considered as some supermen or some superhuman, or they, have, they are considered to have some supernatural 
things in them, then people would very easily say that being a superhuman or being a superman, they could obey all the commandments. And it was just possible for them because the superhumans and it is not possible for the normal human beings. And so escaping from obeying all the commandments of Allah would be very easy despite seeing the actual human role models of the prophets themselves. So this is one reason why Allah orders us to consider all prophets normal human beings and explains as the only difference that they were given revelations.